Let's start with just the MetaQuest Pro. This is just the headset, no controllers, and you'll see the upper body and the face and the eyes and all that. It's working. It's just the lower body where you can tell that something is not quite right. Some pretty basic IK down there. Now let's add in Makopi, which is a really simple full body tracking solution from Sony, and it lets us do legs and arms in a much more consistent way. You'll notice sometimes when Meta is kind of bouncing around the arms, it's usually when the arms are out a view of the headset cameras, whereas Makopi does not have that problem, it's inertial. So then this is combining both of those at the same time. And here you can see, you kind of get the best of both worlds. You have the hand tracking and the eye tracking, the face tracking and the upper body from uh, Meta, but then you have a, a better, more consistent kind of full body tracking solution from Makopi. And it all just comes together in a pretty cool way. And then one more thing that we wanted to try was putting together uh, Mega Stickman's Mega MoCap VR and starting to play with that, which of course uses Vibe Trackers. We used Tundra Trackers in our case. And this is just kind of a fun experiment to try taking um, in totally different take where we recorded uh, something completely different with the lower body. And so the upper body is the merged solution from Akopi and Meta. And then the lower body is uh, using the Tundra Trackers. So, you know, debatable what is going to be our final solution, but it's been really fun to experiment with this and see if we can find a way to allow, uh, let's say, an, an indie developer or, you know, a filmmaker to do pretty robust full body mocap, including face, eyes, hands, et cetera, with as little and as cheap equipment as possible. The Makopi you could get used for 300, 350 bucks. You can get a MetaQuest Pro used or 400, 500, maybe even less if you find one that doesn't come with the controllers since you wouldn't actually need it for this. And then uh, I forget what the current prices of Tundra trackers or Vive trackers. And those of course require lighthouses. So that's a little more, but it is an optical solution instead of inertial. So anyway, more on this soon. Hope you enjoyed.